Hey everyone, this is Zombie Moo. I'm a top player in the Grand Blue Fantasy vs. community, though you may know me from some other games such as DNF Duel, Dragon Ball Fighters, and BB Tag. Grand Blue Fantasy vs. plays out similarly to most traditional 2D fighting games. You'll need to win two 99 second rounds to win a game, and you'll need to win two games to win a tournament set. When watching Grand Blue Fantasy vs., the most important mechanic to be aware of is cooldowns. Special attacks have three versions, light, medium, and heavy. When you execute the heavy version, your character flashes gold, and your attack can have all kinds of benefits, such as causing wall bounces, being plus on block, granting a hard knockdown, etc, etc. Similar to an EX move in other games. But unlike those other games, this doesn't cost meter. In this case, your move gets placed on cooldown, and you're unable to use it until it recovers. You can note the cooldown from looking at the icons next to the player's health bars. Instead, meter is used for some other mechanics. At 100% meter, you gain access to a skybound art, which is generally pretty similar to a standard super. Most are invincible in startup and deal a healthy chunk of damage. And if your health is low, you'll also gain access to a super skybound art, which as the name might imply, is generally a more powerful super attack. You're finished! Realm of Art! Another mechanic that can be used at 100% meter is overdrive. When used, the screen darkens and a large burst-like hitbox expands from the player using the technique. Afterwards, they enter an overdrive state, which has a large number of positive effects. Your normal steel chip damage, you take no chip damage, and your damage is increased. Additionally, as long as you're still in the overdrive state, you have access to your skybound art and your super skybound art, assuming your health is low enough. But a chunk of the duration is taken off each time you're hit, so you might lose the overdrive state early before being able to super if you get hit too many times. You have access to a few different options starting from 50 meter as well. First, you have Rushdown. Rushdown is an offensive, advancing attack that can be used at neutral to approach, or can be used to safely convert pokes from extreme distances. On the defensive side of things, you have Backshift. Backshift serves as an invincible backdash, and is especially useful for characters without meterless reversals. In addition to these metered options, there are some universal meterless mechanics as well. There's an invincible dodge, and a roll which is vulnerable below the knees. Both are extremely important at neutral and on defense, but represent quite a bit of risk when called out. Additionally, there's a slow universal overhead that leads to a combo on counter hit, and it's often used as a throw bait. Finally, I think it's worth talking about some stark differences to other similar games. Firstly, dashes have recovery. This means that each dash is a huge risk, and you're unable to block immediately out of them. Secondly, when you jump, you can only block projectiles and other aerial attacks, so you leave yourself extremely vulnerable to grounded moves. And finally, the throw tech window is very large, but as a penalty, if you tech the throw near the latter half of the throw tech window, you still take some of the damage and are left at disadvantage, but it's not nearly as bad as being hit by the throw. This allows players to play very defensively. At a high level, game plans can vary quite a bit from character to character, but generally speaking, there are a few patterns. You should expect to see strong players sticking to a safer, grounded game plan, aiming to bait out whiffs from their opponent and taking advantage of those whiffs by punishing them. Once in, Offense can be pretty oppressive, but because throws are so risky, you often see players opt to instead contain the opposing player in the corner, rather than committing to a mix-up. I hope this video helps you enjoy watching Grand Blue Fantasy vs. at EVO this year. It's easily one of my favorite fighting games, so if you like what you see, consider giving it a try. Enjoy. Yeah.